Within today's video, we're going to be looking at a full model answer response to a 10 mark discuss question. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to be notified of future videos in this series. Let's check this video out. This question requires candidates to discuss whether Hannah should look to invest ethically. The question is worth 10 marks. As it's a discuss question, this is a written debate backed up by selected evidence to make a case for and against an argument, or point out the advantages and disadvantages. The response should include a conclusion, or a recommendation, that is fully and logically supported. In order to hit the top level in the mark scheme, students must write more than two relevant factors, and these should be discussed well and give good reference to Amber, her circumstances, or the case study. There should also be a deeper discussion of some of these relevant points, including secondary implications, significance, or how these factors interrelate. An excellent response, gaining 10 out of 10, would be a very good response, as we've just discussed above, but there would be a deeper discussion of all relevant points at a consistently high level. Let's have a look at the model answer. The first paragraph. Hannah was horrified to learn that Christina's investments could have been invested in unethical companies. This suggests Hannah feels very strongly about making ethical investments. Investopedia.com outline the task of an investor as balancing the need for profit with your own moral standards and creating a portfolio that reflects your most earnest personal beliefs. As Hannah's moral compass is firmly on the side of ethical investments, it seems clear that investing in companies that are documented to engage in questionable business practices, or that are known to be harmful by providing products such as tobacco and alcohol, would not be something she would consider. However, Christina and Jonathan did not come from wealthy backgrounds, but managed to pay for their daughter's education and training costs using their portfolio of non-ethical investments. Hannah and Stephanie wanted to learn from their mum's experience and find out how to start investing to achieve the same financial returns. As Christina achieved these returns through non-ethical investments, it may sway Hannah to look at the potential returns of these companies. Nonetheless, it could be said that Christina started investing when she was young, and therefore the returns she achieved were because there was less focus on business ethics in that era. The notion that adopting a responsible investment approach will negatively impact financial returns is a frustratingly persistent myth, according to Kate Elliott of Rathbone Green Bank Investments. As well as providing a way for people to invest in line with their values, sustainable ethical investing creates exciting business opportunities. Hannah may be persuaded by the growing sense of social responsibility that exists in modern society, and the fact that this may make ethical investments more popular. As interest grows and there is higher demand, Hannah may perceive that the value of these investments will increase. However, Hannah has just £300 per month to invest and needs high returns if she is to have a comfortable retirement. Her mother feels that you cannot have the same return if you are too specific when choosing who you invest in, and as Hannah appreciates that investment return is also important, she may be influenced to invest in non-ethical companies if she sees her £300 grow quicker than it would in non-ethical investments. It depends on how strongly she feels about sticking to her ethical moral compass compared to potential returns and retirement comfort. On the other hand, 
ethical funds have outpaced non-ethical funds in previous years, and during 2021, investors were keen to place their cash in responsible investment funds amid global attention for investing greener. Ethical funds have outperformed non-ethical over longer investment periods. The 91 Global Environment Fund, for example, had an 89.3% return over the last three years. This suggests that HANA need not choose between ethical investment and high returns, as investing ethically seems to be increasingly more profitable than non-ethical investing. As Hannah is investing towards her retirement, this suggests that she is at the start of a long investment journey. It could prove beneficial to get into ethical investments before they substantially increase in value. However, despite the movement toward ethical investing, there are still many companies that engage in less than savoury practices that still attract investors. Investing in companies that sell morally ambiguous products, such as tobacco, can be profitable due to the high demand and addictive nature of the product. This is reflected in the fact that ethical funds have failed to outpace non-ethical funds over the past year, according to the latest analysis by moneyfacts.co.uk. Christina's high-performing investment in the non-ethical Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust is also a strong argument for Hannah choosing to ignore her own moral compass in the pursuit of higher returns. So on to the conclusion. Overall, one of the most important arguments is the fact that Hannah was horrified to discover her parents' investing may not have been ethical. This clearly suggests Hannah should invest ethically. However, whether she chooses to or not may depend on how persuasive her mother is and how highly Hannah values her mother's opinion. Christina's research into the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust reveals a history of huge returns, 975.53% in fact over 10 years, which may convince Hannah that the opportunity cost is too great and to forego ethical investing in favour of higher yields. If you found that video useful then please leave a comment and also subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when the next episode in the series will be released.